Hi, I'm Jim Majura and you're watching Hooked. Let me tell you a little story. When I was a little kid, my dad took me to my very first guitar concert. And it was none other than G3 back in the day, Stoza Satriani, Steve Vai, and Eric Johnson. And I, I, I did play the guitar already, and I liked Steve Vai's music. He's got this talent of like giving almost like a human voice to the guitar. I mean, the audience is listening, right? Like, I listened to that and I was fascinated. I remember, like, the stage was this high and I stood there and it was David Byrne on bass, Mike Mangini on drums, uh, Mike Keneally on guitar, and, of course, Steve Vai. Um, and when they started playing the Attitude song, I remember Steve walked towards the, 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 the front of the stage and I, I was able to touch his leg and... For me, as a kid, I was like excited. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> um, and I've apparently always had a love for odd um, time signature because the Attitude song is like a seven. <laughs> And I've always loved when you have odd time signature, but you don't really hear it because you still can make it like a banger. That's probably one of the reasons why I love Freak Kitchen from Sweden so much. Um, anyway, so he started playing that song. And then I realized when the, the theme, the, the intro, um, you know, the first time is played like normal. <laughs> And the second time around, there's these weird sounding high pitch notes. And I didn't understand what that was back in the days. I was a kid and I had no clue. I, I thought maybe this is like a cool effect, like a, you know, like a pedal. <laughs> um, until I um, figured out that it's literally pinched harmonics, which I thought was so cool and, and mind changing and game changing for me. <laughs> I knew about the uh, natural harmonics, like... <laughs> but the pinched harmonic thing was um, mind-blowing. So I sat down and I tried to like learn how to do this. And um, it's literally, you play for, I'm sure all of you know that, but for those of you who don't know, um, if you play a string... <laughs> The string vibrates if you manage to like touch the string after you plug it with your thumb um you make you literally make the string vibrate within itself and that creates artificial pinched harmonics <laughs> And it all comes down to where you do that, because this is a typical math thing, from how long is your string. Um, so the first round in the Attitude song is like... But then the second turn this these pinched harmonics come in and I thought it was so amazing and in the live version they keep continuing with the tapping thing moving up to the fifth octave so cool and this song literally made me go back home after the concert and just sit down with my instrument and I tried to like play it. Um, I mean everybody knows the horse. Um, but <laughs> the more I dived into all these artificial harmonics and also 
not only the pinched harmonics, but also artificial harmonics. There are so, so many. And one of the players that inspired me to um, learn more about this is definitely Matthias E. Eklund um, of the Swedish band Free Kitchen, because he's like Dr. Professor Harmonic. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I learned how to like um, include those harmonic sounds um, into my playing and I I start loving it it's great <laughs> you just need to know where they are and it all started with the attitude song so hope you uh, like my little story about my first Steve I concert and how the attitude song got me hooked.